come. Settling in? Feeling better? Yeah. Good. Good. Sit down. Before the British teens can get unpacked, their new parents want to ensure that they live their next eight days like their son, Siddharth. So lay down some house rules. Uh, one request you, respecting and abiding with the rules at school. You're going to go to the school, you're aware of that? I haven't been in education for a year, so I'm not really looking forward to going back. So I've just had bad experiences with school, so I get a bit like, don't like teachers and work. And you need to study, you need yeah, to hold on a good study, job, yeah, have a good, good job. home. I just want to have fun. Decency your language while communicating. Normally, uh, one doesn't use slangs. Uh, good language we use. Siddharth's boundary lines at home are no smoking, no drinking. Can we not smoke at all? Like, we not, huh? like, can we smoke outside the house? Unfortunately, no. I don't, yeah, but what if we don't want to give it up? Give it to me. I haven't got any alcohol. What do you want to say, please? <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Thank you. Why can't you give it up for a week and uh, work towards uh, giving up smoking? I want to smoke for the summer. Because if I give up now because I smoke cannabis during the summer, I'll find it really difficult not to smoke cannabis and I'll, I'll, I'll have tobacco in it. So, you smoke cannabis? Yeah, that's why I don't drink so much anymore. Jocelyn, there is a saying, tomorrow never comes and today never goes. Jocelyn and Peter are asked to sign a contract stating they'll comply with the rules of their new home. So you keep reading and rereading till it becomes a part of your psyche. We appreciated their openness in an, within a few hours to be able to tell us that. And secondly, we have the confidence as elder parents to get them around. They asked me to hand over all my cigarettes. But I still have a packet of GV in my bag. And I'm not giving them that. Down in the communal garden, the British teens waste no time in breaking the smoking rule. It feels like I'm about eight again and smoking underneath my bed. Like, you smoked like when you were eight? <laughs> yeah. That's Jesus. Thought, yeah. I was really good when I was little. I wasn't. It wasn't until I got to, like, 13 that I started getting bored of the whole, you know, I'm a nice girl, I do well at school. Fuck that. They need to realise that people from England aren't so cooperative. <laughs> <laughs> Having formed a bond over a fag, Joss and Pete decide to test the resolve of their new parents. I had a cigarette. You had a cigarette? Yeah. You had it with you or you bought it? I had it with me. So you told a big lie to me? Yeah. How do you feel? Much better. I'm not going to stop either. I'm going to smoke while I'm here. Yeah, so... You also want to smoke now? I have a commitment of the eight days that you live with me, that you live like normal human uh, beings, good children. I want to smoke and I'm going to smoke and I don't really take... I'm not really going to have anyone telling me not to smoke. Why? You're arguing with yeah. me so yeah. much, so much, but still I have not lost my cold. I did not raise my voice even by one decibel. I see that you can't smoke. I can't argue this one as, as much as they've argued with them. Not even one tenth of that. It's like, and for me, one look from my parents is sufficient to like make them get, get me back in line. It's just shocking. Madhu and Uni are alarmed by the teens' disobedience, so they search their bags in case they're hiding any more cigarettes. Second law. It is not going to be a choice of uh, whether we should allow them one or two cigarettes. It's a no-no as far as that is concerned. Siddharth has never seen such bad behavior and is worried that he might lose his new siblings. I guess if you don't cooperate, it may culminate, culminate yeah, in you being kicked out. The way for the and like, now. Do you guys want to be kicked out? Or you want um, to stay? To be honest, I prefer to stay. It's the moment you walk easy. down, the moment we say goodbye, you can just, you can just smoke, man. Yeah, it's not that easy at all. I don't know, at one point I was addicted to the PS2, but I was able to control it. I was like playing every day, four hours, or something like that. Yeah. I was only thinking about the PS2. With the bags checked, Uni calls the teens up for a dressing down. I checked your uh, bag. If there are cigarettes with you, you can take it out and give it to you me. You checked now. my bag? Yeah. You went through my stuff? You can't go through my stuff without asking me. Because you let me down. As simple as that one. And I, I, don't, I don't trust you. I, I want to be very open with you. 
That's not fair. I could have some really well, private stuff in my bag. Oh. Be awkward and frank. So be and honest. Okay. We, yeah, we've been very us. straight and honest with you. Please it's make make it. Let me make it very clear. I've been very honest with you. I've been very nice with you. I'll continue to be nice with you. Okay. There are certain things which I spoke about it. Like a good father. There are two sides to my personality too. You've seen the good side of mine. I want you to live with me like good kids. But still, that's my stuff. That's like my belongings that you've just gone and ruffled through. Like, oh, Jesus. Fuck that. I want you to be using proper words at home. It's not my home. Ah. What a nice thing to hear. I'm angry. You're angry? Yeah, so you've gone we? through my stuff without so asking. So are we us. angry? Do you know yeah, what but we're yeah. controlling. But we're controlling it. We don't like to shout. You're not the shouting kind of people. You're my son. You're my daughter. This is my house. And here my decisions shall prevail. I really just don't want to be here anymore. Because I can't, I don't like them. I'm pissed off at the mum for going through my stuff. The dad makes me want to makes me want to jump out the window and run as fast as I can. He is the most annoying man I've ever met in my life. I cannot stand to be around him, and I am going to walk out of this house and not come back in if he says like another word that pisses me off because they're just they're just too much.